Hello everybody and welcome to another Honkai Star Rail video. Much to my disappointment, I waited tonight, it's 1.30 a.m. right now, I waited till midnight tonight to see if, you know, to, to, you know, just so I could include obviously the four star in this video where we talk about the new characters coming to the game. Uh, unfortunately, there isn't a four star coming to the game. At least it hasn't been dripped yet. Maybe it'll be, be dripped at 2 a.m., 3 a.m. I don't know why that would ever be the case. Maybe it'll be dripped tomorrow, but I'm not going to wait because I waited last time and then they just said, uh, uh, no four star. Uh, and we're probably going to get the, you know, the Harmony MC, uh, for that patch. So it, it made sense. It was like, oh, okay. They, they don't want to give us the look of the Harmony MC or the, the new MC. Uh, so, you know, we're not going to see the four star, right? But instead... Uh, we just didn't get one. Uh, we just didn't get a four star again, but whatever, whatever. Anyway, for 2.3, uh, much to my not chagrin, we have an incredible two characters that got shown to us for patch 2.3. This is absolutely insane. So I, I've been waiting for Sam for so long, ever since I knew that that character was coming to the game. He instantly became my my most excited for character in the entire game, right? I didn't know anything about it. We we kind of had uh, leaks that were, you know, the, the character is obviously you know shown right now. I, I wouldn't consider what I'm about to say, uh, you know, leaking anything. Uh, we had leaks, right? That Sam would come to the game. We we saw what Sam looked like before Pentacony. Before Pentacony even released, before the planet even released, when we were back on the Luafu. Um, so, but but whenever I saw him, I was like, that is awesome. I need that character. And it took three patches, but uh, they're going to be added to the game. Well, four if you count 2.0, 2.1, 2.2, and then 2.3. Uh, four there. Uh, but yeah, this is very, very exciting. Uh, just for the overall look, I like the Firefly on Firefly's name. Um, I really like the art. I think it could have been done a little better. I really hope that Sam is the focal point of this character. I don't mind if Firefly, uh, does something just like her model does something, but I would really hope that Sam, at least, even if Firefly is like who you walk around as in the game, as long as Sam is like, whenever you press her technique, you know, Sam comes out or Whenever you're in combat, Firefly, you know, becomes Sam uh, in combat or something like that. I would really hope that that is the case. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, Firefly. Firefly and Sam. This is very, very exciting. Um, so this is a fire destruction unit. This is going to be new on our list. Let me just go to our character spreadsheet here. This is going to be fire destruction. So this is going to be... The five star upgrade to hook, right? Obviously, uh, maybe yeah, maybe a hook will be better, right? Right. Let me just let me just write this correctly. Okay, there we go. Should I just do a slash? So yeah, that is where that character fits into the game. Uh, the second fire destruction character of the game's existence. But Hook released with the game is a four star. 100% I am all for this happening, right? Like I've said many, and many times in the past when we've talked about this, is that the biggest thing that I want is for new characters, if they're not going to fill a, a new spot, a brand new spot, uh, like a wind ear edition or something or an imaginary ear edition or a wind lightning physical preservation. I would like them to at least um, just be the five star version to a slot, maybe already taken up by a four star. Uh, that would be how I would like it to, to come out. I, I disliked the fact that Kafka and Acheron are both five star lightning characters and we got two five star lightning Nihility characters. I, I meant Nihility lightning. Um, both of those things were true about both of them. Um, 
I was I was kind of like disappointed. I, I like obviously it makes sense for their characters, but like obviously I was disappointed that we had two lightning nihility characters instead of filling a gap in the roster. Um, but it's fine. They both do different things, right? It's okay. It's it's not that big of a deal, right? It's just a preference, right? And then we have Jade. I think Jade overall, like okay, so I am way more excited for Sam to be a playable character than I am for Jade, who I honestly know nothing about. But I actually think that her look in in this like in the drip market looks way better. Like Jade's looks way better because Sam hardcore falls into the background of Firefly. And then whatever position Firefly is standing in right now, it, it just looks so weird. But I don't know, Jade Jade looks hot as hell. It's actually insane. Um, I'm gonna coom. Um, I'm about to start gooning. Uh, but anyway, she has this kind of ethereal cloud snake with like something in its mouth, like a cherry. Like I honestly don't even know what that is. Um, oh, I think it is a cherry because it looks like this is a cherry blossom tree because it's a white tree in the background. So that is really, really, really cool. Um, yeah, just the look of this of this art up for the drip market, I think is, is miles above Firefly. Honestly, it looks like they didn't even get the right fucking font for writing Firefly's name. Like it's actually insane, but it's, it's whatever. Like that doesn't really matter how I'm just, you know, nitpicking. Um, but Jade, Jade being added to the game is really, really cool. So that is actually a spot that is also taken up by a four star at the moment, but Hey, now we have Jade. I already have QQ. I am hoping, right? I, I'm sure QQ is still going to be good. The moment Jade comes out, QQ is not going to instantly be bad for any random reason out of completely nowhere. Especially if you have, um, if you're one of the people that pulled for, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Uh, Sparkle. Sparkle. If you have Sparkle, I feel like the value of QQ is still very, very high and it kind of future proofs QQ into always being an incredible unit. Um, of course, Jade could still overall be by the numbers stronger than QQ, but as long as you have a sparkle and you're running sparkle with QQ, definitely QQ can keep up. Um, and obviously if you gear her right, use her in the right situations, things like that, you get lucky. Of course, she is a gambling character. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, as for Jade coming out, I'm really, really, really excited for this character. Seeing these two characters, now I said it on my YouTube channel, I said it on the um on the community section of my channel where I post, you know, text posts sometimes just to like kind of keep in touch between videos. Um so I said last night after Jade got, you know, her drip marketing and we had already seen Fireflies the night before, I said, um here, what did I say? Yeah, I was thinking of something and then I just started talking about the community section. It's so weird. I lose my train of thought very easily. Oh yeah, yeah. I said, uh, now knowing that it's Sam and Jade really makes my really makes me feel like I made the right choice skipping adventuring Robin and Brood in Boot Hill. Uh, which is absolutely true. I I am listen, those three characters might be really good and might really have a strong place in the game and be insane characters. But overall, as characters and what I personally believe, I mean, like, I just, they've released way too good of destruction units. Like, the, the top three DPSs in the game, um, the top three damage dealers in the game that aren't Acheron are arguably, right, all destruction characters between Don Hung Il, uh, Jing Liu, and Blade right blades really underrated you know people probably put kafka and black swan above him but still still um non dot characters they're they're easily the three best dps's in the game besides acheron you know so sans nihility um yeah I, it, it just makes me feel really good about skipping i'm going to have an entire patch the entirety of 1.2 no sorry of 2.2 will be me saving for Firefly and Jade. 
And then, also, right, I, I did throw 40 pulls to see, hey, if I get adventuring really early, no pity, and 40 pulls, then I'll have them. If I don't, then I won't, and I won't even sweat it. Well, I did get an early five star. I actually got Japard. I obviously have that recorded and uploaded on my channel. That is a video that I have posted. Um, where is it? All or nothing adventuring pulls. Yeah, spoiler alert if you haven't seen it, I got Japard from that, which means that not only did I pull an early five star, but yes, I failed my 50 50, which sucks. I didn't get adventuring, which is the character that arguably you could say I was going for, right? Because it was his banner and I was pulling on it. But the fact that I failed a 50 50 means that when Firefly comes out, I assume she's going to be the first five star on the banner. Um, I assume she's going to be the first one. I guaranteed get her. The moment, the moment that card goes rainbow, I have Firefly and Sam on the account. I can smile big and be very excited and then probably pull for Jade too because Jade is just awesome. Now, I mean, God, Jade is, Jade might be the hottest character in the end. It's just some about pink haired women. Um, it's crazy. Uh, yeah, but I'm really excited to have another Iridition character in the game. I really like Iridition characters. I think that up until the point where they added Pure Fiction, Iridition was the worst type of character. Uh, but maybe at least tied with Hunt for the worst type of character. Uh, Destruction kind of just does everything both of them did, but better, and Nihility too. Uh, but now, right, now that Pure Fiction is in the game, there is definitely a spot for him. And maybe Jade can change the game with what she does. Um, I'm very, very, very excited. To see what the kits of these two characters are. I have not looked up any kind of leaks or anything like that. I'm going to try to avoid them the best I can. And then on release day, we are absolutely pulling, right? I, I'm guaranteed pulling for Firefly just because Sam's in there. Um, Jade, I would say 95%. 95, like, I think there is a chance, there's a chance that I don't pull for her just because I have QQ and everything like that. But I think the chance is extremely low. I think there is a I, there is an unbelievably high compared to the low chance that I will be pulling for Blade, uh, for Jade. Uh, overall, semi disappointed that we didn't get a four star, of course. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, uh, maybe we'll see a four. Maybe they'll drip a four star a little late, and if so, we will reconvene here in front of the camera. Uh, and I will make a like three minute video on the implications of the four star on the possible implications of the four star. Right. But, uh, hopefully this doesn't become too big of a trend. Um, I'm really, I I'm honestly kind of scared now that it's been two patches in a row. No four star are four stars just not happening anymore. Uh, because that would be really unfortunate. Because, yeah, I think a lot of the four stars that they've put out recently have been really underwhelming. Like, let's be honest, nobody is building a Misha, right? Nobody is, uh, I mean, people actually did build a Gallagher. Gallagher is looked at quite well. Gwenaifin is looked at quite highly. Uh, Ting Yun, extremely respected. QQ, very respected. There are four stars in this game that really do change the game and really do feel good that people build and you know it, it's it's good for them asta is a really good character Pela, extremely relevant especially after akron's release it's just going to be really unfortunate if they're just not making four stars anymore i don't know why that would be the case so that is really the one criticism that I want to bring up because I don't want this to become a trend. I, I, I already feel like it's weird that we get more five stars and then four stars in a way. Maybe that's not weird, right? Maybe I just haven't played enough gotcha games where that's the case. But I always thought like, you know, there, there's a shitload of uncommons in the game. And when you get a rare or when you get like a really strong character, it's like, wow, that's really awesome. Um, obviously it's still really awesome, but yeah, I don't know. Guys, don't let me ramble. Uh, all right. I'm rambling. Um, yeah. So thank you all for watching. If you like the video, like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. 
uh, Jade and Firefly, or Jade and Sam. I'm going to call it Sam. Jade and Sam coming to uh, Power Creep, QQ, and Hook really hard. Hopefully. Peace. I can't wait to see these. I cannot wait to see these characters in game in action. I'm pulling so hard, bro. I'm gooning right now.